Frosty day all across Canada. 4-1, the New York Rangers lead Ottawa at the second intermission. Scott Morrison's just back from Pebble Beach where he attended the governor's meetings in California. We'll have more on that with Pierre Lebrun, Al Strachan in the hot stove tonight. He was also in the Bahamas with Mark Messier. So Scott Morrison's a smart guy and he may have found a kindred spirit in Mike Richter who's going to be like Ken Dryden and move from Stanley Cup winning goaltender to politician. And that means back to school. And here's Scott with that story. Around the net centers, it comes through to Carney, who turns, pass in front, saved by Richter! He was one of the best goaltenders America has ever produced. A key to the New York Rangers' Stanley Cup win in 1994, an Olympic silver medalist. But these days, Mike Richter is chasing a much different dream in a much different place. There's a lot of places you expect to find a retired hockey player, but I'm not sure the campus of Yale University is one of them. How did this happen? You know, sometimes I ask myself the same thing. It's amazing. It's a whole new life here. Um, when I was first injured, I spent the first year trying to get back into playing. And uh, once I was told by the doctors I couldn't any longer, then it was I kind of on to plan B. And that really in the back of my mind had always been going back and finishing the degree that I had started uh, at University of Wisconsin in Madison um, in 1985. 22 years later, you returned to a campus. How weird was that? It's, Age 38. Yeah, it's, it, it was odd for sure. And you don't know, you're 38 years old and people say, well, you have so much life experience. Well, my life experience, man, I, it, it's, it's very narrow. And um, so you come to campus and I don't even know where the cafeteria is. You know, it, it's a really new experience and you're starting kind of at the bottom rung. But you learn quickly and the kids have been amazingly helpful. I mean, my classmates and uh, you just, end up being one of the other students, which is what you want. To all you graduates, as you go out into the world, my advice to you is, don't go. It's rough out there. Move back with your parents. Let them worry about it. Did you ever see that movie, Rodney Dangerfield, for Back to School? <laughs> they filmed that at Wisconsin. I was there. They actually filmed it on the campus of Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah, I do remember that movie. <laughs> And I feel like Rodney an awful lot. It's unbelievable. Uh, and I take endless heat from my, uh, you know, brothers and friends and everything else. But I mean, honestly, it's, it's a pretty enjoyable thing because one of the things that happens is at, at 38 years old when you retire from hockey, you're really, in, in people years, you're young. But in athletic years, you are an old man. How hard is it to convince yourself that you have to have a next career? Yeah, there's times where you're, I find myself studying for exams late at night and just go, well, you know, what, why am I putting myself through this? But I think in the end there's a sense of accomplishment. You are learning and I think it's a good kind of role model for my own kids. When he isn't studying ethics, politics and economics, Richter is passionate about the environment and making change. Indeed, he is a part owner of Environmental Capital Partners, a New York-based firm that gives money to eco-friendly companies. I think the world it's not just going there, it has to go there, so it's something that I don't just have a little bit of a passion about. You feel good about because you're probably making the world a little bit of a better place for your children. I just think we could be doing things a lot better, and I think in the United States, um, we just have so much potential, and I think we're missing the boat in a lot of areas, and internationally, we're, we're, we're taking a beating right now. It'd be just nice to see us be a, a leader in a lot of areas that people can be proud of. The assumption's something like this. The Earth is so big, we can't possibly have any lasting harmful impact on the Earth's environment. And maybe that was true at one time, but it's not anymore. Needless to say, Richter is a supporter of climate change activist Al Gore. And the guy has brought what may be the most important problem of our generation, if, if the science proves out, and it seems to be. Um, you just can't ignore it, whether you like the guy or not. It's been phenomenal. So I, I've, I've watched the movie, I've read his book, I've followed it before um, a lot of this kind of came to the forefront. And I mean, what he's done is incredible for getting uh, people's awareness up. Richter's environmental and political work has attracted interest from the Democratic Party. Well, he says he won't run for Congress when he graduates in May, public office may still one day await. In a way, you're in a position possibly to uh, to give back to the community and your public servant is a heck of a way to do it. But I, I would like to in some way, whether it's elected officialdom or not, I don't know, um, but some name recognition and whatnot doesn't hurt. Uh, but I think it would be great to do something where you just feel like, hey, every day I'm getting up and I'm hopefully making the world a little bit of a better place would be a, would be a great way to go. What a great item. Veronica, that makes you the first lady. Mike's wife, Veronica, Thomas, James, and William in that photo. Even the names are Ivy League. 
4-1, Brendan Shanahan. Two goals. What a performance by Shanahan. We'll be back with more on Hockey Night.